Hey guys. All right, if you are stumbling across this video for the very first time, uh, you know, we've, we've got some new, uh, new faces here since, since the very beginning. I am on a one year journey. I am passionate about <coughs> principles of finance and success and winning at life. I think the Bible has a lot to say about that. And I'm on a one year journey to prove that these principles that I teach, these principles that I share work. And the way I'm doing that is going, uh, I've set a one year calendar to go from uh, almost homelessness to financial uh, like stability, to debt free, to financial security and financial freedom. Okay, um, how did I get to the spot of, of almost homelessness? Well, that's a video for another time. You'll have to go all the way back to the beginning, but essentially, I violated some principles. And so I get the opportunity to do this all over again. And you get to watch. All right. So that's where we're at. And we're on day 12 of this journey. For those of you guys who have been follow, following along, you know that, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, I've been doing Uber, I've been doing Lyft, I've, um, I've gotten caught up with um, you know, the truck got that unrepossessed. I got the storage unit knocked out and all current. I've got the phone caught. Like I'm, I'm right at that precipice of, of getting, um, everything squared away. So, um, I've got the emergency fund started, uh, putting away, you know, a percentage, uh, of everything I make till I get there. So I'm excited to be in this next phase, um, where, I uh, am also very far behind with legal payments with with a friend that loaned me quite a bit of money to get the truck unrepossessed and uh, the friend that I'm staying with that I owe quite a bit of money to for, for rent that he's just allowed me to, to be there until that time. All right, so, uh, na so now this part of the journey is, uh, is I've gone to each of them and said, hey, listen, and I did it actually in a group group text. And I said, listen, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm setting up a 40 cycle. Uh, first day, uh, lawyer, thank you so much for being patient. Everything I make on Monday, that's yours. Everything I make on Tuesday, uh, landlord, that's yours. Everything I make on Wednesday, friend, that's yours. Everything I make on day four, that's mine. That's mine to pay the rest of the bills with. And then we start all over again. And so every fourth day, everyone gets a paycheck. They know it's coming. They don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. God knows how much it is, but every four, boom, 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 boom. Um, and, and that, you know, what that does is that takes the pressure off of me to meet a certain thing every day. I just know I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna put in a full 12 days work, whatever it is. That's what it is. And that takes the stress off of, oh no, I didn't make a certain amount that day. I just get up, put in my 12 hours. There they go. All right. The moment I say that, um, okay, so what I'm not doing yet is, is I've still told the credit card companies, hey, your money's coming, but I'm not prioritizing that over, uh, you know, keeping things on. I'm not prioritizing that over paying my friends. Now with my friends, there's no interest. There's no demands to take anything back. There's, they're not gonna cut anything off. And so many people would say, hey, you need to worry about that interest. You need to pay them first. Your friends will wait. Your friends will wait. They'll wait. They'll wait. And they have. They've waited. But here's, here's why what I'm doing is mathematically stupid in the short term. But in the long term, it makes all the sense in the world. Um, biblically, the Bible says, hey, pay your... Um, employees before the sun goes down because they're counting on the money. We see this in Deuteronomy. We see this in Leviticus. And uh, and it's not an exact parallel because my friends aren't poor. They're not broke. They're not, you know, if that money doesn't come in, they're, you know. <coughs> but there's a principle there that says, hey, these guys trusted me with the money. They're counting on getting it back. Um, there's a principle that says pay promptly. Don't don't hang on to stuff for your own gain, but pay these people promptly. And so, and those verses will be be in the comments. So, you know, again, God's the one that's going to pull us out of this. His principles, 
His principles are right every time. Um, the credit card company, they know their money's coming. They're, they're getting interest every day, every day, in fact. But that interest, to some people would say, oh my gosh, that's why you need to pay it off. But that interest, to me, is actually permission to get to them later because they're being paid for their patients. Um, and that's important because, because my friends, uh, they're not charging me interest. And so I want to get them, I want to get their money back now, knowing that the credit card companies, I'm paying them for their patients. I don't have to worry about that. There's this mindset guys that we have to get into that relationships are more important in the long term than money. There's a book called the millionaire mind. And in the book, the millionaire mind, they interview all of these millionaires. Just the, just one of the, until Ramsey did his recent thing, it was one of the biggest studies of millionaires ever done. And they showed all these habits, habit, 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 habit about millionaires and the way they think. And guys, almost all of them had to do with healthy relationships. Guys, having healthy relationships with my three friends that I'm paying off, far more important to me than the money that it, I mean, it's, the money is nothing compared to the priceless relationships. I know that because those relationships are why I'm not homeless. They're why I have a truck. They're why I have, um, you know, the legal thing uh, wrapped up as well as it did. I don't want to burn those bridges. We talked before about homelessness is burnt bridge after burnt bridge after burnt bridge. And so in this money thing, we prioritize the relationships over finances. Um, so yeah, so... So I'm on the stage now where, man, I'm, I'm starting to, to knock out, out those three, which is super exciting because it's gotten me out of that, that crisis mode. I'm not quite to financial security, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, if I miss a couple steps, I, I might still, like, I'm not completely out of the danger zone. I'm not to the spot where I'm really going to start snowballing my, my credit cards yet. Um, but guys, I'm, I'm in an exciting phase and it's, it's, you know, 12 days is a long, it's a lot when you're thinking about the year where I want to be, but, but it's pretty short when you're thinking about where I was. All right. Uh, so, um, that's, that's where I'm at on that. I'm, I'm out of that, that, that crisis mode. I'm about to start, um, being able to, and, and the reason guys, the, the reason I still consider myself kind of in crisis mode is this is because I still don't have um, like I'm catching up with rent. I haven't been paying rent. And so if I didn't have friends to stay with, um, I'd kind of be in that spot where, oh, no, I can't afford a place to live uh, and I'd have to move th things around. So that's once I get caught up on on all of that, then we're really going to start uh, snowballing towards debt. OK, so the biblical principle is um, I'm not focusing solely on hey what's best for my pocket book i'm doing this in the order that sometimes is going to seem backwards but it prioritizes people over stuff all right so the biblical principle here is um guys people come first people come first if if you're a wage uh if you're a um if you're a boss pay your people don't, don't be hanging on to their paycheck. And and that's, you know, we have laws about that now, but it also comes down to, guys, if you owe people money, um, don't make them come chasing you for it. They, they, they had a plan for that money. Give them their money back. Um, if, you know, when your bills come in, don't hang on to it for another six days because you can. Pay your bills. Um, th th there's this, this principle that says, you know, pay your, and, and it's speaking of bosses to workers, but it applies across the board. Pay your people. The, the moment you have that, don't, don't hang on to that money because you can. Um, in my case, it's these people have loaned me money. And man, it's, it's um, I really could start to just kind of relax into, okay, I've got everything turned on. But, but honestly, this motivation for me, this Bible verse motivates me even more to just lean forward and go, go, go and, and get this money back to these people. All right. <clears throat> So that's, that's the principle. People come first. Um, people are, people are more important than stuff. People are definitely more important than my stuff. Cause the Lord will take uh, stuff comes, stuff goes. All right. Some of you guys are dying to know how did yesterday go? I told you guys, Hey, uh, I, I think the tool that the Lord might be using to, 
uh, drive the, the vehicle the Lord might be using to drive me out of this this hole is a financial coaching business. Some friends of mine got together. It was almost an intervention. They talked me into, hey, this thing that you're already doing on YouTube, this thing that you do with your passengers, let's start, uh, let's start moving that in a direction. I said, okay, great. So one of the skills that I, um, you know, you break it down, and that's when we talk about goals. Uh, that'll be a video into itself, but but essentially, it's like, okay, what's the first skill I need? I need to know if I can make a cold contact, speak to a stranger and develop that into getting contact information and having a free 30 minute consultation. Okay. So that's what I set out to do yesterday. And I got two guys. I got two. I've got two, um, appointments set up for coaching free 30 minute coaching consultations that I'm going to evaluate these guys, see if we're a good fit. Uh, the next skill of course is then okay, how do we turn that into um, the, the free consultation into an actual client? Uh, and so I'll be watching some videos. I'll be speaking to some experts I know. I'll be, um, I'll be just figuring that out and then, and then I get, I'm gonna get to practice. Uh, so today, today I'm into my Sabbath. I'm headed to church. I'm not gonna be, you know, um, uh, not... Today's my break day. I'm just resting. But tomorrow I'll be back to it to see if I can get, um, I'll start setting some goals about how many uh, consultations I can get set up. But guys, man, we're rocking and rolling. We, uh, I've, my goal was one yesterday. I made two. And so we're going to move this thing forward and we're going to see uh, how fast I can, uh, with the Lord's help, build a coaching business that, man, we've got, uh, we've got less Less than a year is not a lot of time, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to see how God does it. All right, guys, I believe in you, every single one of you. If uh, if you're in the Houston area and you don't have a church to go to, Restoration Church, it's, man, it's, um, God's doing cool stuff here. But wherever you're at, I pray that you will find a group of people around you to worship the Lord today on his day. Uh, be around people that encourage you, lift you up. I pray that you can go into your group and use whatever gifts and skills the Lord's brought to you to um, encourage the people around you. And uh, tomorrow, we'll talk a little bit more about how my Sabbath went, and I can't wait to do that with you guys. All right, I believe in you. I'm proud of you. Bye.